So. All right, USA Wrestling here with David McFadden after his super match at the Rudis event. Solid performance. Seemed like you were in control most of the time. How'd you feel out there? Oh, I felt great. Um, you know, I would have liked to do a little more, uh, but he's a he's a great competitor, and you know we're pretty familiar with each other. So he's uh, he's hard to open up. So I knew when I. I knew when I had the score, I, ha I had the, you know, that, that four-pointer was huge in the first period. Uh, after that, I kind of shut him down, and he kind of had to come to me. Um, didn't shut off my offense, though. I got, got another takedown with about a minute left in the match. To kind of ice it, you know, I knew I still had to wrestle hard for a minute. I knew he was going to be coming hard, but, you know, I just relied on my head hands defense at that point. Didn't need to take uh, any errant shots, especially with a four-pointer. So, you know, I wrestled a strategic match. I would have liked to you know, maybe open it up a little more, but like I said, you know, at this level, you know, he's a European uh, bronze medalist, so they don't come easy at all. So. Absolutely. How important is how important are matches like these in general, like just to get matches, to get live feels, because it's almost impossible to simulate this in practice, right? Yeah, you can't replicate a match. The crowd, the weight cut, the noise, the butterflies, the anxiety leading up to, to the match. Uh, so you have to do a really good job, you know, just staying present, staying focused. So there's nothing like it, and you know, when you step on the mat, it's, it's you versus him. There's no one that, you know, hold your hand. So that's what I love about wrestling, you know, it's, it, you know, you get, you know, this super match was incredible, you know. I'm, yeah, they've done a great job, yeah, right? Yeah. From, from, it was the best production I think I've ever, I've ever been a part of. Uh, you know, the rudest staff, like everyone that works there, what amazing people they are, you know. Just, they treated us like royalty, like from the moment we walked into the door, like, literally spoiled us <laughs> so uh, awesome. you know they I, I can't thank them enough for you know having me a part of this card and just can't say enough about their organization next stop US Open US Open so I got about a month and a week so actually I'm going to coach this week and I got uh, two of my guys Evan Barzak and Mickey O'Malley looking to fight on the yeah. podium so um, yeah. you know I'm excited I get to uh, turn around and go coach the NCAA championships for three days it'll be be a little different than wrestling in them. I'll be on the uh, other side of the fence. On the well-dressed side of things, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I actually get more nervous coaching though than because um, I'm out of control. Like I said, like you know, I get during wrestling, right? You get the butterflies leading up. But essentially, you just step out on the mat and you just gotta, you know, have faith, let it fly. And you know, when you're coaching, you want to be out there wrestling, but you can't. So um, I'm just I'm blessed to be in the position I am. Well, well done tonight. Good luck this weekend. And Good Thank luck you. next month. Thank you. I appreciate it.